Hello everyone, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and it's that time of the, well, day I guess where we're looking at air show recording issues and we're still on the subject at the moment of editing whereby if you do an air show screen recording and try and edit it in say iMovie you just get a lot of garbled distorted images and it doesn't work very well so it proves difficult for you to edit. Now I've already given you one solution whereby you import the file into iMovie and then export it without any changes and that should produce a nice converted movie file that you can work with but of course for some people iMovie costs money and they can't get it. So I love it when you guys help me out with suggestions in the comments and one such person going by the name of Seth Mays, I hope I pronounced your name right, has suggested a free application which should do exactly the same job. So thank you very much sir and the application he is suggesting is Video Joiner and Trimmer which is essentially something which I think you can uh, trim and merge and join multiple videos but all we want to do is import the video and then immediately export it. So this is how you do it. First of all you want to launch the application and then bring in the video from Airshow that you want to uh, export again so I'll tap on video tap on the air show video and import it and you should be able to tell these problems because at the very top here with the timeline it's not showing the whole video it's just showing the beginning of it and if I try and track it it's not going to do anything particularly useful apart from show a grey screen. So at this point we just want to export the video immediately out with no changes to get a video file that we're going to be comfortable with. So I'm going to export it to the photo gallery and it should render. I'm doing a very quick video here about 30 seconds long and it renders fine. As far as I'm aware there are no restrictions on limits or anything else but do let me know in the comments below if there are any restrictions because this is a free program and usually you find some sort of problem along the way. Uh, it does bring up adverts at the bottom but other than that I can't see any problems beyond that. Okay so it should have exported the video now. Let's go check in the photo gallery. And so we have two videos there now, presumably one of them will be the version that's working and lovely. And, <coughs> excuse me, and let's go into iMovie and let's just import that new movie file, if I can work out which one it is. So we'll get rid of that one, go back to projects, do a new movie, and I presume it will be the one that was created today. Create movie. Uh, look, you can see the timeline now. You can see all of the timeline as I'm as I'm tracking it. It's picking up every part of the video, no matter where I am on the timeline. So that seems to fix the issue, no problem. And just for curiosity's sake, let's do the same thing in Video Joiner. If I delete this video now and add the new one, I'm just going to try and work out which one it is. I think it's that one. And again, we can see the timeline at the top and the tracking should pick up everything that's going on and it does so there you are it seems like a pretty good free solution download video joiner and trimmer i'll leave a link in the video description for you to fix it and thanks again to seth mays for this suggestion other than that got any pop comments pop them in the uh, comments below subscribe to the video let me get my finger pointing correct my video gadgets journal and i'll see you again soon enjoy the rest of your tech day bye for now